the Desert Rose is a beautiful traditional quilt block. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this with a few different variations. So the Desert Rose is a traditional quilt block that has this flower in a main color and then the center in an accent color. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Desert Rose block and this piece finishes at five and a half inches square. And I know that is a really unusual size, but if you wait till the end, I'm going to show you why I'm making it this size. If you want to see how to make this block in a more standard six inch square, or if you want to see how to make this variation in a 12 inch square, then you can click on the link that goes to the um, corresponding tutorial, but you would make those in the same way. You would just have different sizes, and in case of the 12 inch block, a different number of strips, but the same basic assembly is the same. So to make the cactus rose quilt block, from the background fabric, you're gonna need four two inch squares, a piece that's one and a half by two inches, and a piece that's one and a half by three inches. Then from your main flower color, you're gonna need a piece that's two inches by three inches, two pieces that are two inches by four and a half inches, and one piece that's two inch by six inches. And then from your feature color, that's gonna be the inside of the flower, you're gonna need a two inch square. So once you have these, you're gonna start with your two inch squares of background fabric. And on the back of each one of these, you're gonna draw a line from corner to corner. So a diagonal line on each square. Now once you've drawn those lines, you're gonna join each one of these squares to the end of one of your featured color fabrics. So you'll place that on the end and just pay attention because we need um, two of these to go in one direction and two of these to go in the opposite direction. So start with uh, the six inch piece and a four and a half inch piece and these will both go in the same direction. So just put um, them onto the end, making sure that the diagonal lines are going in the same direction. And then on the four and a half inch piece and the three inch piece, you're gonna make sure that the lines go in the opposite directions. So that's what they're gonna look like, making sure that they're in the opposite directions. And now at the sewing machine, we're going to stitch that right on the line that we drew. And so just make sure that it's lined up in the corner and then stitch right on that line. So once we have these stitched, just double check to make sure that they're going in opposite directions. And then we're going to use what's called um, the stitch and flip method, or sometimes on a square it's called snowballing, but we're just going to cut the corner off. So in this piece, we're going to cut this corner that's away from the stitching. And you can use rotary cutter, and you can use um, just scissors. Because these are pretty small seams, I just like to use scissors. And I'll eyeball a quarter of an inch. Because in this case, the seam allowance doesn't have to be exactly a quarter of an inch because we're not lining up the seam allowances. The seam is already stitched. So in this case, uh, close enough to quarter of an inch is pretty good. And now we have these little triangles left over. I'm probably not gonna keep these because these are really small triangles, but if you do micro piecing, then you're welcome to save those for another project. So now I'm gonna take these pieces to the ironing board and I'm gonna press that open so we can see there is the corner being added onto our strip. So now the spines for our cactus rose are finished. We're just gonna do the center flower section. So for this, we're gonna need our two inch accent fabric square and then we're gonna add 
our one and a half by two inch uh, rectangle onto one side and then we're going to add our one and a half by three inch piece onto the other side like this. So now we have the center done and we're ready to begin the layout. So we'll begin by putting on the three inch spine and we want to put it so that the long uh, piece of color is touching the center. So if you sewed your diagonals on in the other direction on this spine, that's fine. You would just put that up here. So it doesn't really matter for the finished block. And then we'll put um, the rest of the spines on. So you'll notice this is why we had to alternate the directions. We can see how this is coming together. Now, uh, what you want to avoid with layout is if you put the spines the other way, then it's going to look like this, which is similar, but this is not a cactus road. This is not the same design. So that's what you want to watch out for, making sure that the points are going right beside the center square. And then beside the previous box. So this is the layout that you're looking for. So we're just gonna join these one at a time onto the piece with a quarter inch seam allowance. So here's the finished cactus rose. I chose to have one main color for the flower and then one accent color, but you could do this scrappy, you could do um, one color for the outer spines and another color for the inner ones, or you could do green on the outer one to look like leaves. There are a lot of different variations that you can do. So this piece right now is six inches square. So that means it's gonna finish at five and a half inches. So the reason that I made this block to finish at five and a half inches is because I actually made a whole set. I made four blocks and I'm gonna be joining these blocks together to make a 12 and a half inch block. So I'm gonna put just a little mini sashing in between and then it will be a normal 12 inch block. And this is what it looks like when it's all put together. So whether you do this 12 inch block or just make a quilt with only the cactus rose unit, I'm sure it's gonna be a beautiful project. For more quilting tutorials, ideas, and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.